Jack here. Oh, Cloney, miracles can happen. Let's see if it does. I admire her guts. Here yeah. it is. It's not going to get there yet on 4th Street. And the board pairs fives. And now Annie's thinking to herself, whoa, I've raised it, I got called. I bet I got called. I'm going to go for some bigger guns this time. But she is not stopping. She's going to make a nice solid bet here. And a big bet at that. 45,000. 45, oh, strong bet. I know. Look at Cloney. She's yeah. just. She grimaces. She lays down her inside straight draw. But give Annie Duke credit there, Vince. I think she really put her on a straight draw. Didn't want to give her any free cards that would beat her. What a nice bet by Annie Duke to win that pot. A nice read and a nice bet by Annie Duke right there. <laughs> That's going to be on Annie again. She has to act first, looking very loose. And now she's got 6-5 of clubs, a suited connector, Mike. And there's a hand a number of players would play, but not Annie. Didn't opt to play that in first position. Cloney's out. Kathy's out. Maureen has a junk hand jack six offsuit. But she has the button in favorable position, Vince, and she's going to raise on that button 15,000. Now, I love that. That's a, that's a nice raise. She's in a good position. Jennifer's out. Yeah. But mm -hmm. Evelyn Ng is thinking this over with an ace deuce. 75. She is re raising, makes it 75,000 to go with an ace deuce. A bold re raise by Evelyn here. Oh, she's put the hammer to Maureen. Well, remember the last time Maureen raised on the button, Evelyn made it 80,000 and picked up the pot. And she's not going to call it. Let me tell you, I believe Maureen Fiduniak is the most improved player in poker, man or woman, in the last two years. No question about it in my mind. And Maureen Fiduniak has come a long way as a poker player. She can play the game. I don't play in a, a tremendous amount of tournaments, but I've been very fortunate this year. Maureen has come a long way in the last few years. She's done very well. She's intimidating because she's not scared at the table. So get out there and gamble with you. And that makes it a little difficult to play no limit hold'em against. She's not predictable. I just play poker for a hobby. She just spanked my brother at the Bellagio, so she's got to be good, right? Maureen caught the poker bug from her husband, Bob, and the hobby they share may prove that the couple that plays together stays together. We're never apart. We never spend a day apart from each other, do we? Except when I get knocked out of the tournament and you're still there. And I'm there. still happy. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely something that gives us an opportunity to do something together, to share something together. It's a wonderful thing for a husband and wife to be able to do together. Exciting poker action on Ladies' Night here at the Bicycle Casino. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. I didn't play poker until I had dealt for a few months. Actually, maybe like six, seven months. And I just saw the same people winning all the time. And I figured this is a game that I wanted to play. I only played a ton of cards. And although we didn't play poker very often, my dad did have like this round chip set, you know, with the white plastic chips and the red plastic chips and the blue plastic chips. And we used to play a little bit as part of our family card games. We are at the Bicycle Casino in Los Angeles, California, where Maureen Fiduniak came out swinging to pick up the first pot. Right here on hand one, big action already, then. But it wasn't enough to stop Annie Duke from taking the lead and taking control on the final table. Well, Mike, I can just feel the estrogen in the room, and I like it. It's a nice change of pace. <laughs> Kathy Liebert's going out with queen eight. Maureen also goes out. Now it's on Jennifer Harmer with a 10-8 offsuit. Look at this, man. She, she's getting going to her stack of chips. She's raising it. Comes in for 15,000. Right, the 10-8 offsuit. She gets Evelyn to go out. Evelyn folds and Annie folds. And now we're around to Cloney on the big blind. She's picked up the Jack-9 of Spade. That's a pretty interesting hand. And she calls. So we're going to have a flop here between Cloney and Jennifer. Look at this flop, Vince. Jack, Jack, Deuce. Well, there Ooh. it is. It's big for Cloney. She's hit three of a kind. But she quickly checks, Vince. Look how cool she's keeping here. But Jennifer's also going to check. 
And a five comes on the turn, and Cloney oh, checks this. one more time. Oh, I love she's this. throwing her some rope here, Vince. Oh, no, she's, she's dug the hole. She's put the branches, put the sticks over it, and she's waiting for the sucker to fall into it. <laughs> and it looks like Jennifer's going to. Yeah, she is. 21,000, she bets. This is beautiful by Cloney. I'll tell you one thing, Vince. You can take her to Hollywood with you. Look at this. The grimace, even. Look at this. What to do with these three jacks? She's trapping. This is a performance. It's a beautiful, subtle performance. She's going to get the Meryl Streep Award here. <laughs> she could only do a dialect. Look, oh, she's and reluctantly she calls. calling. Oh, this is something. She's just calling. She has three of a kind. Look how she has slow played these three jacks. No, no, no. To trap Jennifer for one more bet. And let's see if she gets it for some more. Last card coming up. And a six of diamonds comes off. Now, it does put three diamonds out there. She's doing it again. But she quickly checks, hoping Jennifer's going to bet again. Jennifer. Jennifer just surrenders the hand. <laughs> Wisely did not bet on the end there. Oh, but, artistry at work there, Mike. Look how cagey Clooney played that hand. Vince, it just shows you all trappers don't wear fur hats. Uh, I think Jennifer is going to go to the pocket to for some tums after that one. Did not like that result. Vince, there's a saying in poker, good players can set traps, the great players can sense them. Cloney Gowan is the ultimate adventurer. This is just her latest trip into the world of poker. My name is Cyclona Gowan. I'm from Dallas, Texas. I was born in the basement of the General Hospital, and they had some really rough weather going on. My dad said, well, if it's a girl, we're going to name her Cyclone. But if it's a boy, we're going to name her Hurricane Jackson. And thank goodness my mom stepped in, and they compromised, and they came up with Cyclona. <laughs> By trade, I'm an adventurer. <laughs> nice, huh? I've traveled all over the world to scuba dive, and I just love to go into third world countries and seeing how they live their lives, which is so different than my life in Dallas. Honey, we got ants. Cloney's wow, life in Dallas is a world away from the World Hard Poker to Tour. Well, this is my house. Me and Dave. No, 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 no! He couldn't resist, could he? Nah, he loves the water. <laughs> I've been married for three years, David for five before that, and he doesn't play poker. So when he met me, I, I know it was definitely quite different that he had a wife that played poker. <laughs> I could never date a poker player, ever. They're selfish, they want to play poker all the time. Oh, yeah, I know we're having dinner tonight. We're never on time. Okay, well, I'll be there at 6. It's midnight. Sorry, I got stuck. I love poker. It is definitely a passion of mine. <laughs> I think the future holds great things for me, whatever that may be. I'm just at a point in my life where if I'm not having fun with it, then I don't want to do it. Wow, play the park! <laughs> Wins this tournament will be a lot of dog food for that monster pool. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go. It's going to be on Maureen. She's got a 9-8 suited connector of hearts. Yeah, nice hand, but she opts to fold. Jennifer disgustingly throws her 10-5 away. Evelyn folds. Now around to Annie Duke on the button in position. She's picked up a queen nine offsuit and comes in for 15,000. Well, you gotta like this. She's making a, a nice little raise in a nice position. Cloney going out. Well, Cloney had 10 seven of clubs and opted to fold. But look at this. Well, Kathy's got a real hand. She's got a pair of sevens. She has picked up a pair. She is in the big blind. The question is, how is she gonna play it? Is she gonna call or is she gonna raise? She's gonna raise it. There she goes, Kathy going at it. She makes it 35,000 to go. She has re-raised Annie Duke here. Now, Annie feeling a little embarrassed, maybe. She has three options. Get the heck out, call, or raise. She looks back at her hand. Look at the determined look on her face. What is she going to do here? She's gotten re-raised by Kathy Liebert. Do you just, just say, hey, I've had enough, and throw it away? She's reaching for the big stack of $5,000 chips. She is. Chips. She's looking real serious. Remember, she only has a queen nine off suit here, Vince. That's correct. She looks back again in her hand, and she's got, and she's going to raise it, Vance. Oh, wow. She is re-raising Kathy Liebert right here. Now, win or lose, you got to respect this kind of play. Vance, this, you got to have the heart of a champion to make this kind of play. $120,000 $120, raise. Our first six-digit bet here, Vance. 
a big bold bet right here by Annie Duke. What heart she's showing on this hand. Kathy with the sevens saying, what did I do? Little does she know she's way out in front. Well, I can tell you right now, she's not way out in front, Lance, but right now she's in the vice, and Annie Duke is squeezing it closed on her here. I mean, your middle pair just is shrinking up a little bit when you've got re-raised 155,000. This is why Annie Duke's a great player. She only got queen nine. Whether she wins or loses this hand, this is a strong professional play. And She's not going to call lays it. the hand down. Give Annie Duke credit there. She earned that pot, Vince, by re-raising Lieber with a queen nine offsuit. That is poker at its best. Uh, and she's got to love that. That's poker artistry right there. Well, the blinds have gone up. We're playing four and eight thousand dollar blinds now, Vince, with a thousand dollar ante. Now that means it's eighteen thousand to play every six hand of poker. So stakes are getting higher. Kathy has now put on her sunglasses. Yeah, she has, Vince. Dark uh, blue. Maybe uh, she felt like Annie picked something off of her eyes that last pot. She's not going to let her do it again. She's put the shades on. It could be. Took a lot of guts to see what Annie just did. Uh, action's going to be on Evelyn Ng. Now, this time she's got ace three. Not going to play. Annie, old chit-chatty over there. Very happy about that play. Is going away with a 10-5. Colony's got a 7-6 of heart. She's also not going to play. Kathy Lieber's a 6-4. She folds on the button. Well, I'll tell you something. The ladies are talking children right now. Carpools, PTA meetings, it seems like. All right, it's on Maureen. She's got ace three. Limping in, as we say, with the ace high. And look at this. Jennifer has picked up two lovely ladies in the big blind on ladies' night. And she's going to raise it. She's not slow playing them. She's bet 28,000. Right back. On Maureen. Maureen always looks like she just walked out of a Merchant Ivory film to me. Out of a what film? Never mind. Well, she has ace high. She just limped in, as we say, to try to see a flop here. So I know that she's thinking that Jennifer doesn't think she has an ace. What to do, what to do with an ace high here. And look at Jennifer, the hand on her chin, pretending like she's not that strong. A huge pair of queens. Cool. Maureen's going to call it. And Maureen calls it. So we're going to have a flop here between Maureen and Jennifer. Jennifer with a powerful hand, two queens. That's ace three. Here we go. Flop is king, king, nine. Flop is king, king, nine. Uh, that did not help Maureen. She checks. Jennifer now with queens and kings, of course, thinking, could Maureen be trapping her, perhaps, with a king? Well, it's the only card she has to dodge, so I can't imagine she's not going to bet here. 40,000. And she does bet 40,000. 40, and Maureen, it's going to be back on her. She has an ace in her hand. And now Maureen is staring her down here. She is putting Maureen Faduniak to the test right here, right now. Maureen Faduniak, a great poker champion. We've seen her last year on the party cruise. She knows Jennifer's capable of making a play here with nothing. She's wondering if her ace high is indeed good. And Jennifer looking over, acting very casual. Maureen's taking a long time, but she lays it down. Yeah. Jennifer Herman picks up the pot. Oh, look. And look at that, Jennifer showed her the two queens. There you go, Jennifer. Jennifer two queens. Hey, I only showed her. <laughs> now, the interesting thing is she said, I just showed her. But you know, at a poker table, you show one, you have to show them all. Exactly right, Vince. It's show one, show all, and that's the way it should be. One player at the table shouldn't benefit from information that others don't get to see. If you're going to show them, you got to show them to everybody. Well, at this stage, Annie Duke is our chip leader with about 350,000 in chips. Evelyn has about 340,000. Cloney has about 260,000. Kathy's got 205,000. And Maureen and Jennifer have about 175,000 each. Action is going to be on Annie Duke. Annie looking really happy. Well, Making some strong plays here this afternoon. She picked up 9-10 of clubs, a suited connector. And, and she just go. limps in for the 8,000, the size of the big blind. Cloney's got a queen 10 of hearts. So she has a nice hand. She's calling. 
Kathy Leifert with an ace-eight mic of diamonds.